and we'll start recording. So uh, what we're going to do here today is we're going to look at um, the second assignment, which is sort of based on the Kirby Jenner stuff. I mean, remotely based on it. Um, he puts a lot of dedication into uh, not only finding the right photos, but finding the right costumes, setting things up properly, dealing with shadows, and also color correction and wigs. Um, if we look at our assignments, ah, I'm going to have you do two of these, and I think I described what we need to do in them. Uh, we have to remove three people and their shoulders from this photo and replace one person with a photo of yourself. Uh, I'm going to start with this one. Uh, I put the actual photos up in our um, resources, I think, uh, but I'll grab these again. Um, this is uh, new Google Drive stuff, save to keep, and then if I right mouse it, I should be able to save image as. And uh, Richard Nixon throwing out the first ball, 1969 even says what year it is. We're going to call this Nixon. That's a JPEG, which makes sense. And it should be at full resolution, which is the important part. Uh, let's open Photoshop. What we're doing right now is a long history, actually. Um, something we'll probably talk about at some point. Um, the Russians uh, have a long history of modifying photos before computers, which is kind of fascinating. Um, they, Stalin had a team of people who would... Um, use touch-up techniques, which is basically paintbrushes, uh, but on photographic materials to make people disappear. <laughs> I, I shouldn't laugh because it was actually quite dreadful. Uh, but in Russia, as people would fall out of favor, they'd have to be pulled out of photos. Um, so this is an example that is used a lot. Um, this guy and this guy eventually are not really considered good for Stalin to be around anymore. I think this guy goes first. Ah, and actually if you see it, if you start with that, you'll see that they, uh, they took some area over here and they moved it over here and then they kind of blurred the hell out of his arm. <laughs> uh, you do a lot of tricks at that time. Uh, if these guys messed up, they could end up in prison. You don't have near that much weight on you. Uh, but we have much better techniques than they had. Let's load that image. File. Open. Uh, and we probably put it in downloads. It's right at the top. Nixon JPEG. Let's see a couple things about it. Uh, it's black and white. Um, but you'll notice it's coming as RGB and that's fine. We might deal with that later. Um, we're at 50% here. Make sure everything's on the screen there. Good. Um, so it means we have uh, good resolution to work with. Good. Um, we talked about how to pull people out. And some of you did a little of that. And I'll use one of our um, existing selection techniques, which we'll get better and better at, um, to do that now. But the big question is, what do you put back there? Um, Let's first, we'll use uh, our handy old quick selection tool. What's the size of it? Five pixels. That's probably okay. We're going to try to grab this guy. Up, oh, went too far already. Uh, you know what? I might, I might uh, magic wand it too, because I think the magic wand um, settings and my tolerance is too low. I think this will pull fine with a magic wand. And where does this guy end? You know what? I'm going to say all of that. Everything out to the black edge of his uh, suit there. Uh, I'm probably going to have to correct a little bit there, but uh, that's not the end of the world. I'm going to zoom in here a bit. Good. We're at pixel by pixel. Uh, that's actually precise enough where I can, um, I can go in and... 
control Z. I almost lost that whole selection. Let's go up here a bit and we'll gather it out to there. I might increase our tolerance a bit. I'm going to try a tolerance of 10. Good. That's better. Yeah, you know what? I might just undo that. That's probably easier. Uh, yeah, we probably won't do it on tolerance of 10. We can try a tolerance of 8. We're only dealing with 255 values here. Good. Is that going to be too much? That might be too much. That's too much. Uh, let's go with a... You know what? Let's switch back now to our uh, quick select tool. Uh, and we will be subtracting because I want to get rid of this noise over here. See that? Good. And we'll try there. Oh, that was too much. Uh, we're going to try a much smaller quick select. We'll try a two pixel. A one pixel quick select is just basically like a very fine um, brush, which we don't need. Uh, let's try there. Good. Good. Uh, here I might even draw some of it. adding to it. That's too fine. Um, why don't we uh, fill some of our holes the easy way? Uh, 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 there's no reason for me to use all those uh, weird fancy techniques if I don't need them. I'm going to have to fix where that brush is. But there's a lot I can do due to that. Uh, I'm going to go to rectangular. Oh, good. Ooh, wrong one. I want to add two. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, and we have to fix this mess down here. Let's do a little subtraction. starting to get better yeah uh, we'll plus that in again there's a bunch of other tools for this as I mentioned probably 30 percent of the tools in Photoshop are just about selection let's subtract out that square uh, like anything else you tend to lean on certain ones over and over again I might start to examine this edge now. Ah, move the whole selection there. Don't want to do that. Okay, let's take a look at it and see what we have. We have to get his head too, actually, of course. It's kind of pointless just to get his suit. Um, I'm going to show you another selection technique uh, that actually will help me out a lot here. Let's close that. Uh, we're going to go into what's called quick mask mode. Um, you heard me mention there's so much here about selection. Um, quick mask is yet another means of selecting. Click it here. Everything turns red that's not selected. Um, everything that's the way it is is selected and then I use a brush well, there's a good brush 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 that's not really the right brush for me you know what I bet you the right brush is underneath one of these goddamn brushes oh it's probably another pencil there we go brush tool uh, 12 pixels that's okay you notice it's black and white which is what I want it to be Oop, wrong one let's flip it and now I can actually uh, paint out what I don't need. If I have a tablet, this would work much better, of course. Uh, 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 I can even fuzz it up a little. Actually, we'll get the sharp edge of his coat. We'll go down here a bit. A 
I'll probably blur that later too. I don't like that last part there, so let's fine tune that a little bit. Good, that I'm starting to like. Now let's go up here and check our dude. Um, I'm going to step out of this mode like that, and you'll see that my new mat is looking all sharp. And then I'm going to go back to uh, we'll go back to this brush, although we want it bigger because we have more to pick from them now. Eh, maybe not that big. Maybe that. Oh, 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 what an awful place to start. Let's try six pixels. And we're adding to it. Good. <laughs> okay, well, we'll start down here. <laughs> That looks uh, like it'll pull much better, his shirt. At least parts of it will. His tie should come pretty well. I don't know if we're going to be able to get down to uh, the next guy, but I can probably draw that later. Let's see if we can get his neck. I think we got his neck, although uh, I think we got part of the other guy's neck too. Yeah, see, I don't want to lose uh, Casey Stengel over there. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. We'll mind us him out. No, you see, that's too, you know what, let's quick mask. Okay, um, I want to add with my quick mask. Let's go back to that paintbrush. We'll make this brush bigger because I want to splotch in a bunch, of, a bunch of fix pretty quick. Good. Okay. It's a shame all that white got, but you know what I think I can do pretty easily? I can do that roughly, and then he has an edge that goes all the way out to his, um, his suit, so that should be able to pick pretty easily. It's actually not a bad time to listen to music. Of course, I can because we're taping this. Um, but a lot of Photoshop artists spend a lot of time making selections. Let's clean out his face a bit here. We're going to flip what we're doing here. Uh, there we go. Now we're starting to get this guy. I think I can pull on the hat pretty well. Not going to worry too much about that. Let's flip back. Ah. Out of quick mask. Uh, we'll go fine tune that. Um, let's do it with some magic wand. A tolerance of eight. I think that's good. We want to add to the selection, which is that guy. Ah, okay. Like I said, it would pull nicely around his hat, which is what I thought would happen. I'm going to do this, but then I'm going to have to paint it out later. But it won't be so hard of a paint out. Oh, 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 well, you know what? Uh, I'll paint it out later. <laughs> uh, with later meaning right now. Uh, quick mask. Uh, let's see which one we're doing here. Let's head back to that brush, 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 brush. There we go. Oh, yeah, that'll... That'll clean up quite nicely. Good. Uh, we'll get his forehead back where it's supposed to be. Okay. That's starting to look like an okay selection. Oop, wrong one. Let's control Z that, which will undo it. And I'll flip these. And now I'll start uh, fine tuning that selection a little bit. I can use a smaller brush, of course. That's the whole point of having brushes, right? We'll try that. Oh yeah, that's 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 okay. Um, this is a problem, uh, but it's not a hard problem to fix. Although actually, that might be part of his suit. Now that I'm looking at it, yeah, no, I think I'm going to go the other way with that. I think I'm going to actually add to that.
Yeah, I sort of like that. Let's take a look here. I think I might have to clean that up a little bit. Got a little bit of this hairline. Might fine tune a bit there and there. Might want to zoom in a little bit. Control plus plus. A lot of this also depends how closely is it going to be examined, obviously. And the real thing you want to think about when you're doing this is um, tells. Like, is there something on it that will tell the casual observer that you touched it up? The, uh, the trick to this is doing it so that no one can notice. Uh, one of the first jobs I had in New York was um, repairs on a film, motion picture film. And it was, um, something was wrong, like they'd have something in a scene that wasn't supposed to be there. Like, you know, it was a really common one would be like an album cover, and there'd be an album cover out somewhere in a set, and um, they don't have the rights to the album cover. So to reshoot would cost them a fortune, so they would pay people like me to go in and then like do a perfect mat on it and then put in an album that they do have the rights to, and then redo all the lighting and stuff, and then do it frame by frame. Um, it was uh, hard work, actually. And uh, much more common than I expected. Uh, the other funny thing about it was that you couldn't get credit for it. Um, they couldn't put you in the credits because you were fixing a mistake, and they didn't want anybody to know they made a mistake. So the clients were always um, angry because they made a mistake and had to pay for it. And they always wanted to save money, too, because they made a mistake and had to pay for it. But it was very commonly done. If I was really that concerned about this, I would worry about that white a little bit. Um, but I'm not. So I'm going to step out a quick mask like that. I'm going to take a look at my mat now. Let's go to another mat tool, and we'll go select and mask. And now let's take a look at that. Uh, you see, I might want to touch that up a little bit. Not too much. And I might want to do a little bit of a fix there. Uh, probably I'm doing overkill. This is probably fine. Um, I might want to modify my edges a little bit. Do I want to modify my edges? Let's take a look. Uh, if I feather my edge, this will happen. So that goes too far, obviously. Um, I can shift my edge in or out. Uh, I might want to shift it out a tiny bit. And what that will do is grab just a little bit more. If I shift it out a little bit and I feather it a little bit. That will give us a little bit more room to make them disappear. Um, I want to back out, control minus minus. Uh, I want to fix that little thing there, but other than that, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I'm going to hit OK, and I'm going to head back into Quick Mask. And we're going to head back into that hat, control plus plus. There it is, Richard Nixon. Okay, and we're going to fix this little bit here. <sighs> paintbrush, 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 too big. Nine, that looks good. Oh, wrong way. I think I like it. Control minus minus. So we have them selected. That's a big part of this whole process, right? Um, I'm going to do something right now because I don't want to lose that selection. Especially after I spent that much time on it. If I go under select, I should be able to save it. 
uh, and I'm going to call it uh, suit right guy. Okay. And I'm going to do that because uh, I want to do a couple things here. I want to, uh, I'm going to duplicate this layer. And I'm going to do that so that I have a safety. I might even turn this one off. Now, this is locked, but I always have the original go back to, which can be useful later. Um, and now, now I want to get rid of them. Should we save them? No, we should just get rid of them. It's gone. But we now have a big old hole in the middle of this. Uh, we got to fill the hole. That's always an issue. Um, we have a few tools for this. We're going to try some of the automatic tools first, and then we're going to try some other non-automatic tools. Uh, let me go under Edit. Let me go to Content Aware Fill. Content Aware Fill is one of their um, artificial intelligence techniques. It's supposed to have a much better controller now, I was going to say. Oh, and actually, look at that. It does. It used to just, it would go blah, and it would throw it in there, and that was that. Um, now it appears to have put some sort of hideous monster in there, which, you know, you know, it's, it's, it's better than nothing. I, I don't know if uh, it would have kept me out of the gulags with Stalin, but um, hey, you got to take your chances. Let's zoom in and see what it's... It's kind of hard to see with a keyboard. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can move the keyboard. Good point. Ba, 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 ba. Where's my keyboard? I believe it's this guy. Uh, is it? Wrong one. Uh, there we go. We'll turn that off for the time being. And you can see better now. And you can see, that is, that is like I said, a hideous monster. But they give us controls now. Again, they used to not. That's just showing me what it's blocking out and what's not blocking out. Uh, sampling area options, auto, rectangular, is that any better? Doesn't look necessarily any better. I, I'm probably not going to get away with, uh, with this entirely. And that's okay. Because I can put something else over there, too, which is a whole other thing. Uh, I'm going to use a part of this, and it's going to give me a new layer, which I like. Uh, fill settings, color adoption, default, rotation adoption a high to see if that makes anything any better oh yeah actually I sort of it's a tiny bit better this is supposedly much better at things like green fields and things like that people are tough um, but a lot of what I have to do is just get something in there and you'll notice like for example it takes part of this guy's shirt and shoved it over there um, it's supposed to have a lot of settings in it these days uh, Ooh, this is good because this is one of the other tools we we're gonna look at the sampling brush. Um, I can pick an area that I say I want to fill in there with. So let's say we want to fill in with back here. Oh, and it really does do that. It's still sort of hideous monster, but I could, I could. There's some other things I could do with that. Let's see what happens if we head over here to the guy with the pipe. Uh, I'm going to say okay with that right now. Okay, and you'll see I have a new layer of that, which is good. Um, and then I'm going to try something else. Uh, we have uh, this guy, who again might be Casey Stengel, I don't know, um, over here on the right. I'm going to grab him. Um, he should actually be pretty easy to grab because, well, there's nothing else against him there right now, right? Uh, blah, 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 blah. We'll go for a new selection. Good. Like I said, he should grab pretty easily. Um, why am I not using... Uh, well, yeah, I was going to say. I'm going to deselect everything. And then, like I said, he'll grab really pretty easily. See how quickly that shirt grabbed? Give me your hat. Your hat was such a nuisance before. Okay, so 
he grabbed really nice and easy, which is good, um, because what I'm going to do with them is I'm going to uh, duplicate them. I'm going to make a new layer out of them. Uh, paste. And you see, now we have a layer that's just, just our guy uh, here if I turn off uh, that one too. Now, here's the advantage of that. I'm actually going to change the order of these layers. I'm going to put this one behind that one. We're going to put him on the top. Then we have this in the background. Now, I could shove someone else in over here. Um, who, who would work well here? It'd probably be better if I got someone who wasn't um, actually in the photo, because then it makes it easier for people to say. Although, um, although I think... There's sort of a weakness for this guy. And partially because he'll pull well, let's go to that layer. Let's head to our matting tool here. And let's see how well his hair is going to pull out here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, like our Soviet friends did when they just used some of the river there. We're just using some background people. Uh, you know what? I might uh, I might quick mask that back just a little bit, just a bit. Okay, I kind of like that. Uh, I'm going to edit. I'm going to copy. I'm going to edit. Oh, actually, let's get out of quick mask mode. And I'm going to paste. And what that did is that gave me, that should have given me another layer. Did that give me another layer? I hope it gave me another layer. You know what? I'm probably on the wrong layer. Let me see if I'm right about that. Oh, no, we got him. Good. This is our boy. Uh, we want to put him over here, but he's too far back. Let's move him up. Good. Okay. I would flip his direction, but he'd be looking the wrong way. Um, let's scale them. We're going to free transform them. Get them behind Casey there. Uh, that makes his head a little big, actually. He looks like a monster then. We can't get away with that. But we could get away with that. I have to deal with something here. Ah, control Z. I'm going to hit the enter key, which is going to lock that in. And I'm going to deselect so that we don't see him deselect. Could he get away with that? He could. I probably have to do a little bit of uh, blurring around here. Um, and we actually have tools for that, too. It should sort of stun you the number of tools we have for um, modifying photos. Uh, because <laughs> it's something you end up doing a lot. There's a finger tool. Let me check my tools here. Let me make sure I'm in the right set of stuff here. Uh, let's, we're in photography, which is good. So then uh, under one of these damn things, my finger tool should be... Uh, it is. There it is, the smudge tool. The smudge tool. Uh, let's make sure we're in the right layer. I might have to turn off some people here. Boys on top there. Ah, that's the layer I want to be in. Uh, that's the stuff we stubbed in there. This is where we pulled them out. And then we have the full background back there. Okay. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, where's my finger tool? Got my finger tool there. Um, that looks good. We're going to zoom in a bit. Control plus. I don't have the keyboard on right now. I'll turn it back on. Uh, just so you have it. Um, and that shouldn't be blocking what I'm doing, I don't think. Okay. Uh, the finger smudge tool. See what that does? It takes the pixels there and kind of pushes them around a little bit. OK, 
Okay, I'm going to have to get some other stuff for here. Although, you know what, let's push that back a little bit because we don't want the side of his mouth coming off there. Um, if we leave that there, and I might be able to get rid of this white edge, I could work more with that. I'm going to have to do a lot more with that white edge. Uh, and actually, the white edge is on the fill. That's our original guy there that we're trying to get rid of. Uh, I may even have to modify that. Let's free transform that a bit more. Uh, well, that's not going to do what I want. You know what? I copied the whole thing and I shouldn't have, which is my own fault. Um, anyway, uh, what I want you guys to do based on these assignments, and you have two of them to do, remember, um, start making a safety layer. Uh, go in, find out who you're going to remove, get them out of there, and then try to think about how you're going to fill them. Uh, use Content Aware Fill. Use... Um, people from other places, uh, use other stuff, use hand painting. Uh, and we're going to cover some more techniques tomorrow. Um, we're going to look at the healing brush and a few other brushes. Again, all of which are designed just for this sort of photo manipulation. Um, okay. Uh, for now, I'm going to step off. We'll call this recording done. Uh, and uh, I'll be available. You know, you can text, you can uh, chat, whatever else you need, okay?